up guys welcome back to the channel walking on water in today's episode we are gonna talk helmeted or crippled herring for summer and well spring and summer chinook salmon more in particular landlocked chinook salmon up here in the northwest Coeur d'Alene Idaho stay tuned let's set this thing up see how it fishes all right guys first things first okay non-slip mooching rig as always go to my channel look at walking on water non-slip how to tie up a non-slip mooching rig is the title of the video it will teach you how to tie this up okay leader length for these crippled herring really all depends on what you're going to be running them behind okay if you're going to be using an 11 an 11 inch dodger you're going to want a longer leader about 40 inches if you're going to be using let's say a number one or number two dodger about six inches then you're only going to need about a 30 inch leader length okay or you could run this directly behind a weight so you could go from 34 to about 44 inches in leader length okay so again non-slip mooching rig go to my channel learn how to tie it up like subscribe leave a comment don't forget to share okay now every time i tie up a non-slip mooching rig for a herring like this i measure it out okay just like so okay so you're gonna have this trail hook trailing behind this herring okay so now let's get into the helmeted part let's set this helmet up okay so we have our non-slip mooching rig we have our helmet these helmets are a little tricky but we'll get, we're gonna dial them in for you guys okay get the motor straight okay there's a little insertion hole right down here okay you're gonna grab your your main line and you're gonna bring it up through there okay you're gonna push the line keep pushing the line through that hole until it feeds itself back out then you grab it okay then you have a hole all the way down here at the bottom, okay? The very nose of this crippled or helmeted herring helmet, and you're gonna slide this line, the main line, through that hole, okay? Slide it through the hole. Again, let's get the main line back, and slide it through the hole. If I can get it, there it is. Okay, we got that now through the hole, okay? Now, we're gonna bring this main line pull it out and we're gonna go straight back through the hole that we literally just fed our line through okay so feed it back up and through okay and there's a hole on the upper side of this helmet okay and you're gonna feed the main line through that hole okay pull it out pull it tight so it removes itself from the main line hole then you're gonna go straight up the side and go through the second hole just like that and you're gonna feed this line through the second hole back out through the tip of the actual helmet okay I know it seems like a lot of steps it's really not that bad literally just had it okay just like so okay now you thread that all the way down to your non-slip mooching rig okay so let's take a look at this one more time you go in through the line slot right here feed it up until it the line rounds out and out of the top of the helmet then run it straight back through down to the tip hole pull your line out back through the tip hole out the second bottom hole and then just wrap it back around and go back through the tip okay once you have one of these helmets in your hand you're going to fully comprehend how to actually run this line through okay so then we're going to grab our herring like so we're going to feed it into the helmet okay the big eye where the pin goes is where you want the eye of your herring to go, just like so, okay? Just like so. You're gonna grab your pin, you're gonna shove it through the eye, out the other side, pinching your line that you threaded through, okay? I like to pull it tight first, and then grab your top hook of your mooching rig, pull it back a little bit, about right below the dorsal fin and through the spine okay and then you're gonna pull it tight okay and that's gonna give you a little bend in that herring okay just like that we've got our herring rigged up okay let's go ahead and tie a swivel onto it I'm gonna do the my eight wrap knot here really quick wrap 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 
okay and then I put it through the eye of the line okay and then I grab the tag I put it back through the loop of the line and then pull it tight just like that okay perfect now I'm gonna throw this on an inline weight and let's see how this thing fishes in the water okay guys we'll talk about that a little bit swivel it up okay now get myself unhooked here I'm gonna run this next to the boat here go ahead and get a good look at that in the water okay spinning there it goes see how that herring has a nice slow roll to it okay a nice slow roll is what you're looking for in the water okay say it does not rolling good okay say the herring doesn't look good to you it's not rolling good in the water you're gonna pull it like this see how I have line right there give it a little pull just like that, it gives it a little bit more of a bend. And obviously you can see that bend right there. Put it back in the water. Okay, now look at it roll. You can see that herring rolling in the water just like so, a nice slow roll. Get our boat going straight here in the wind, we might actually be able to see the roll. Just like that, you guys. Rolling in the water. All right. This is the helmeted herring. Ran behind a weight is a killer. Ran behind a flasher is a killer. Ran behind a dodger is a killer. Make sure you have that slow, tight roll. And that's all you guys really need to know about helmeted herring. Hey, thank you guys so much for tuning into this how-to episode of Walking on Water. How to rig up and fish a helmeted slash crippled herring. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share. We will see you in the next one.